Lesson 2. This lesson is called How to Establish Your Why, and it will show you how to determine what motivates you in life. So to sum it up, your why is what your passion is. This is what separates humans from other animals, in my opinion. It's our desire to thrive, not just simply survive. So we all have this vision of what our perfect ideal life looks like, and this is a vision that's in our head. And something that is commonly referred to as the originator of your why is a TED Talk by Simon Sinek, and it's the talk about how great leaders inspire action. And what he describes is that your why is your purpose. It's the reason you get up in the morning. It's what motivates you to take action. It's what keeps you focused each and every day. No one has the power to take purpose from you. But while it is yours, many can share your purpose. Aligning shared passions, shared beliefs, and shared value is how one finds common purpose. So what does that mean? That means that your why is why you wake up in the morning. The reason this lesson is important and the reason I included it is because you need to know what your why is. You need to know what your purpose is because this is what is going to help you when time gets tough. And the truth is no one has the power to take your purpose from you. But while it might be yours, many people might be motivated by the same thing. So when you start to look at other people's common purposes, you'll start to understand what motivates you. And this is really going to help you. And this is how millionaires act and how they think. They're very, very aligned with their purpose and everything they do is with that in mind. So to find your purpose, how to establish your why, first look for patterns in your life to find what your why is. Looking at what you do, what you do with your time off, what do you spend your money on? So ask yourself what motivates you. For me personally, like we spoke about previously, the freedom of everything, the personal, professional, and uh, financial freedom is what motivates me. But for you, it might not be the freedom that much. It might just be being able to provide for your family. It might be being able to take time off for when you want, be in control of your own schedule. Or it might be to just have nicer things in life and, and live in a nicer area and have a nicer car. There's nothing wrong with that. But dig a little bit deeper and ask yourself what really motivates you at your core. If you had all the money in the world, what would you be doing? Dissect what your perfect life looks like. Start to break it down and, and ask yourself, why do you want the things you want? That's going to help you establish what your why is. And like we said before, you know, everyone is inspired by different things. And that's one of the other beautiful things about freelancing is that it helps you achieve what you want. It's all about what you make it. And if money wasn't an object, dissect it more. What would your life look like? What would you do? Not only like what would you, uh, what car would you drive and what house would you live in like we said before, but go deeper even than that. What would you do every day if you didn't physically have to work? Because as humans, we want to contribute to things. And once you're not kind of stuck in that vicious cycle of paycheck to paycheck, just paying your bills, that's when you can actually do what you want. And that is what your passion is. So if you're not at that level yet, that is what freelancing can do for you. And you need to shift your mindset and understand that you need to have passion in the back of your head with everything you do. And then, what mark do you want to leave on this world? Ask yourself, what do you want your legacy to be? So for me, I want to empower myself and others to have true freedom over their lives. For you, it might be something else. And that is what you need to tap into. This is what is going to really help you start up. It's going to help you get off the ground because your why is your fuel. It's what motivates you when things get tough. So what I recommend... Right now, write down what your why is. And not just right now, but every single day. I like to do it in the morning. Uh, you can you know, type it out. You, there's a lot of power of physically writing things down and journaling. And just taking that couple seconds will help align your mind. It will remind you why you're doing all of these things. Because it's not easy to become super successful. But 
when you do the things you know you have to do and that you're learning in this program and you keep your why and your purpose in your heart, it makes it completely possible and achievable.